All right, what up everybody? It's your boy Akeem and welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the NFC West Division for the draft picks of the 2016 NFL Draft. And I'm here to give you their grades. Starting with the Arizona Cardinals. I think they had a decent selection this season. But starting with their first round pick and Robert Kindichi, the defensive tackle coming out of Ole Miss. Now some people believe that he's a bust and people are overhyping him. But I think this is a great athlete. Remember seeing him coming out of high school I think this is gonna be a good turn for the Arizona Cardinals in which he kind of reminds he could remind me a little bit of Darnell Dockett during his time as a Cardinal next up in the third round that was their next selection they went with Brandon Williams the cornerback out of Texas A&M very disagree with this one he only has seven pass breakups this past season and 37 tackles don't really think they should have went with him in that. Hopefully, at best, he could be a backup for the team. In the fourth round, they picked up Evan Baum, the center out of Missouri. I think this was a decent selection. In the fifth round was their next selection. They went with Marquis, Marquis of uh, Christian, the safety coming out of Midwestern State. I think this is a pretty good selection. I think he's a pretty good athlete. Um, in the uh, fifth round, sticking in the fifth round, they picked, picked up an offensive tackle out of Harvard and Cole Torn Toner. And finally, they picked up Harlan Miller, who's uh, coming out of southeastern Louisiana, who was a much better um, player, in my opinion, than Brandon Williams. He had he, he runs a 4 6 5 40, 22 pass breakups, and 11 interceptions during his career. Better, better cover player than Brandon Williams, but I kind of understand the Brandon Williams selection. He did run a 4 3 7 40. Now, overall, for the Arizona Cardinals, I'm going to have to give them a C plus. Next up, the Los Angeles Rams. I think they did a great job this year. At first, I was questioning when they moved up to number one overall, but I did like their selection. They went with Jared Goff to uh, out of uh, Cal. They desperately need a quarterback, and I understand why they went up, and he is the best passer-ready quarterback um, rookie entering this season. Now, their next selection weren't until the fourth round, but they picked up solid picks and tied in on Tyler Higby out of Western Kentucky. He actually had over 500 yards receiving this past season, and Farrell Cooper, the receiver coming out of South Carolina. Now, over the course of the last two seasons combined, he had over 2,000 yards receiving, and hopefully he could be the number one guy for Jared Koff coming off as a rookie. They don't really have a good depth chart in receivers. Um, next up, they picked up another tight end and Tameric Hemingway out of South Carolina State. This was a pretty good um, team player as well. I think they no longer have Jared Cook. And next up in the sixth round, they picked up Josh Forrest, an underrated inside linebacker coming out of Kentucky, who in the SEC conference, he had over 200 tackles over the course of the last two seasons. And this, the fact that Kentucky doesn't really get much national attention, that's part of the reason why people don't know much about him. I think he's a pretty good player, and he could be a decent leader in the defensive side. Next up in their final pick, they went with Michael Thomas, not from Ohio State, but from Southern Mississippi. I think this is a pretty good selection as well. Now, overall, I'm going to have to give the Rams a B plus. I did like their selections, but even when they had to trade up for number one and they they don't have the second and third round but with the next picks as far as value I think they did a pretty good job so I'm gonna have to give them a B plus same for my San Francisco 49ers. They had a lot of picks. And I, at first, I was scratching my head, disagreeing at first. But then when I looked at the big picture here, I think they did a good job with solid picks. Starting with their two first-round selections, they went with DeForest Buckner, the defensive tackle out of Oregon. I definitely, We definitely need a defensive end. He could play defensive end as well. And in another first-round selection in which they traded up, they picked up Josh um, Garnett, the, car, the, the guard coming out of uh, Stanford. I like this selection as well. At first, I was like, I did not like it, but then I kind of understood what we we're going here. With Colin Kaepernick, we don't really know if we could depend on throwing the football as much, and we need to be effective running the football, and he is a great run blocker who helped out Christian McCaffrey become a Heisman Trophy finalist. Next up in the third round, they picked up a cornerback, uh, Will uh, um, Redmond out of Mississippi State, and in the fourth round, where they picked up Rashad Robinson, the cornerback out of LSU. These two selections were the least liked selections that I like. I didn't like them as much as the other selections. Those, these two are okay players. But in their next selections, they did a great job. In the fifth round, we had three picks, starting with Ronald uh, Blair, the defensive tackle out of Appalachian State, who is a beast. 53 and a half tackles for loss and 21 sacks during his career. And in the fifth round, sticking in the fifth round, we picked up two offensive tackles to address the offensive line. And, and John uh, Theus out of uh, Georgia 
Georgia and Far uh, Cooper out of Ole Miss. I think these were um, decent, good selections. In the sixth round, we finally went with a quarterback. Hopefully, uh, Josh, uh, uh, Jeff Driscoll can be the guy, a, a good passing quarterback. Colin Kaepernick, his, his time is running out. They're not really, he lost, uh, we're starting to lose faith in Colin Kaepernick, and even Colin Kaepernick doesn't really want to be part of San Francisco as well. So they had to pick up Jeff Driscoll, but um, uh, my man, uh, Blake uh, Gabbard, had, uh, Blaine Gabbard had a couple of decent games last season, so they're going to have to bow things out at quarterback. Second in the sixth round, they picked up Kelvin Taylor, who could give you some good short yardage play. He's a good, decent running back coming out of Florida. Florida has been struggling running the football over the last two seasons, and he did lead the team in rushing. Now, in the last pick in the sixth round, um, for them, they went with Aaron Burbridge out of Mrs. Michigan State, who I was actually a little shocked that he was still there in the sixth round. This was a great value pick at the sixth round. And lastly, they, they went with Prince Charles or uh, uh, Iwara, Iwara out of uh, Western Kentucky, 11 pass breakups and 4 interceptions in 2015. Hopefully the secondary can be a little bit better this upcoming season for my Niners. Now overall, like I said, I'm just like the um, St. Louis Rams, I'm going to have to give my Niners a B plus. Great job, team. Next up and lastly, the and not least, um, the Seattle Seahawks. I think they had a pretty decent draft as well. Um, they picked up Jermaine and Fetty, their first round selection, the offensive tackle coming out of uh, Texas A&M. I think this could definitely help out the run game. Next up, uh, Jer uh, Jeron, uh, Jaron Reed, the defensive tackle out of Alabama in the second round, who I thought is a good value at first round, and I think this was a good pick. I thought uh, Robert Kendici was going to go with the Seahawks, but they ended up still picking up a good defensive tackle out of Alabama. In the third round, they had three selections, and um, one of them was a running back and CJ Precise out of Notre Dame. Game. He's a good, versatile player. He could catch the football out, out of the backfield. He had over 300 yards this past season with over 1,000 yards on the ground. Next up, they picked up a good blocking tight end in Nick Vanek out of the Ohio State. I think he's going to be used more in double tight sets as a blocker. And in the third round, sticking in the third round, Reese, um... Adhimo, Adhibo, uh, the guard out of uh, Boise State, this was an okay selection. And in the fifth round, they had two picks, um, one at defensive tackle in Quentin Jefferson out of Maryland. 2013, he had a great season. Then he only played three games in 2014 and had a, his best season yet in 2015 with 12 and a half tackles for loss and, 10 and, and, and uh, uh, six and a half sacks. And in the fifth round, they picked up Alex Collins, a good bruiser type running back who could give you some tough yards in between the tackles out of Arkansas. He's not as versatile as CJ Precise, but I think he's a better downhill runner than CJ Precise. In the sixth round, they picked up Joey Hunt, the center out of TCU. This was an okay selection. And in the seventh round, they picked up Kenny Lawler, who's a good red zone type wide receiver out of California, and Zach Brooks, a decent and okay running back coming out of Clemson. Now, overall for the Seahawks, I'm going to give them a B- minus for their efforts. Now, the next time to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have two more blogs for today to talk about the NFC North Division and the NFC South with my grades. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.